Hello students. So today we will learn class 3 science chapter number 1 living and non-living things. Now look at the picture given here. Can you say which one is living and which one is non-living? If not, after watching this video, you will come to know the difference between living and non-living things. So let's start. Things we see around can be broadly divided into two groups. Living things and non-living things. Living things. Things which can grow, breathe, move and reproduce are called living things. Let's see the examples now. The examples are plants, animals, human being. They all can grow, move, eat, breathe and reproduce. Now you may think plants do not move. Yes, you are right. Plants cannot move here and there like us but show other characteristics. So it is also living. Now my question is, are you living or non-living? Yes, you are also living being because you also eat, move, breathe and also growing day by day. Now let's see what are non-living things. Things that do not eat, grow, move, breathe and reproduce are called non-living things. Have you ever seen your pencil, pen, cricket bat or car is growing? No, right? Because they are non-living things. They cannot eat, breathe move or grow like us. Now let's see what are natural things. Things that are not made by human beings and are gifted to us by nature are called natural things. We see beautiful lakes, mountains, forests, animals, birds etc. around us. They are all naturally present in the world and are called natural things. Sun, mountain, river, cloud, animal, plants, they all are natural things. So all living things and even some of the non-living things are natural things. Man-made things. Things that are made by human being are called man-made things. Here are the examples of man-made things. Have you noticed something? Some pictures are similar with non-living things. Yes, that means all non-living things are man-made things. So, here again some differences between living things and non-living things are given. So, it's your homework that you will learn all the definitions and the differences. And I hope after watching this video, you will be able to give all the answers of these questions. Features of living and non-living things I will teach you on the next video. So for the time being, stay safe and learn. Thank you.